Welcome back everybody, we have some more news about how divisive The Last Jedi actually was and the big gamble Kathleen Kennedy and Ryan Johnson took that just didn't pay off. In fact, all it did was hurt the franchise in the long run and cause I hate Star Wars YouTube channels to spring up like mushrooms. What am I talking about? Well, we have the first estimate of The Last Jedi Blu-ray sales. Why is this important? You ask? Well, The Last Jedi was a success at the box office because in The Force Awakens, J.J. Abrams set up a whole bunch of mystery boxes the audience were keen to have answered. Who are Rey's parents? Will we finally get to see Luke be a badass Jedi after that cliffhanger? What's the deal with Snoke? Where is he from? Why wasn't he ever mentioned before? How powerful is he? Why did Ben Solo turn to the dark side? Will we see Anakin's ghost? Why didn't he appear to tell his grandson that he was wrong? This was the driving factor of The Last Jedi and I guess Raylo. People went out in droves with the hope some of these questions would be answered. And well, you know for yourselves that basically none of it mattered, let the past die and you're a crybaby if you think otherwise. So let's look at the numbers. I got this from the Reddit forum, link down below in the description. Further evidence that The Last Jedi sadly did turn off about half the audience. TheNumbers.com is now reporting the launch week sales of The Last Jedi and it's not good. Whereas The Force Awakens sold just under 3.5 million units in its first week of release, The Last Jedi only sold just under 2 million units. In raw monetary terms, The Last Jedi brought in over $40 million less revenue in its first week of Blu-ray sales. Given its divisive nature, it is likely that after collectors' purchases, the sales dropped rapidly in comparison to other Star Wars movies. Those numbers will be released next Wednesday. Blu-ray sales are one of the very best ways of gauging an audience's reaction to a movie as purchasing a movie after seeing it in a theatre is a vote from the consumer's wallet for the quality of the film. Although some are pointing to Solo's plummeting box office returns as a shock, Disney knew privately they were in trouble with the Star Wars brand as they've been holding on to the last Jedi Blu-ray sales outside of public view for the past few months. When a sequel gathers only 56% of its predecessors Blu-ray sales, it indicates a massive swing in public opinion. As an example, the first Captain America movie released on Blu-ray to a sales amount of just over $20 million, while the sequel released to sales amount of just over $22 million. This indicates growth from one entry in the franchise to the next. Dropping the amount of The Last Jedi from The Force Awakens in the launch week tally is a gigantic number and further evidence that Disney is hemorrhaging Star Wars consumers post The Last Jedi. So look, I still get the feeling that people who enjoy The Last Jedi think that this is some kind of small vocal minority of trolls being butthurt and spamming the internet with hate comments and yes, there are those kinds of people but the fan base is split, perhaps even down the middle. I don't know what the exact percentage is, my guess would be it's like 50-50. The Last Jedi was a gamble and sometimes you lose when you gamble. Yes, Ryan Johnson tried something new, he tried to shake up the standard trilogy formula, but just because it's new doesn't automatically mean it's a successful formula. Solo bombed because of The Last Jedi and not because of its own faults or merits. Ignoring the legitimate concerns fans have with the future of the franchise will only push more of them towards a more radical leaning. It's probably why there are rumors now that Kathleen Kennedy will be resigning in this September. The damage control after The Last Jedi was just not successful and did not fool anyone. At the end of the day, the captain of the ship is at fault here. So how does Disney regain the trust of the fans who hated The Last Jedi without pissing off the fans that liked it? I don't know, that's a hard hard problem to solve. I guess that's why there might be so many projects down the pipeline. Ryan Johnson gets his new trilogy to appease fans who enjoy The Last Jedi and maybe there's another trilogy in the works for those who would rather pour bleach in their eyes than watch him touch another legacy character. So there you have it peoples, hope you enjoyed the video, leave your thoughts down below. As always, thanks for dropping by and for your continued support, don't forget to like, share, sub and all of that good stuff and until next time. See you.